Okay, so here we have question number 13 from November 2013, paper 2-3. It's a question about angles in circles, and uh, we are asked to find, uh, we're told about the vertices of a rectangle, so we know this is a rectangle A, B, C, D. Okay, so all the properties of rectangles will apply here. For example, the angles on the corners are 90, the opposite sides are equal, the opposite sides are parallel, and so on. Okay, um, we, uh, MN is a line of symmetry that cuts a circle in two equal halves, so it must pass through the center okay, of the circle. So um, that's something that we also know, that's a line of symmetry okay, of the rectangle. So MN is a line of symmetry of the rectangle. Okay. So if it's a line of symmetry of, a rectangle, of the rectangle, that means it cuts this into two equal halves. So this D to this point here, let's call this point P. Okay, this point, let's call it P. Yeah, this point is P. So DP and DC are the same length. Okay, and also this must be 90 degrees here. Okay, well these angles are 90 degrees. Um, AC is the diameter of the circle, of course, pass through the center. It's also the diagonal of the rectangle, as you can see. And angle ACD is 42 degrees. So now it's saying, for telling us to find two things, angle CAM and DCM. So let's start with CAM. CAM is this angle over here. Okay, now, what we can do in this in this question, as I know that DC is a line, which is a line, uh, sorry, if MN is a line of symmetry of this triangle, of this, uh, sorry, <laughs> rectangle ABCD, this is the line of symmetry. As we mentioned, it cuts it into two equal halves, and this must be 90 degrees. So this angle here is 90 degrees. Okay, so we've got this little triangle OPC. We've got like a triangle OPC, which is a right angle triangle, as we just mentioned here. So that means this angle here, Okay, this angle here, which is, we can say, POC, is equal to 90 minus 42. Okay, 90 minus 42. Okay, because um, this is 90 degrees, these two must add up to 90 to make a whole triangle 180. So that's 90 minus 42, which is 48 degrees. Okay, so POC, this angle here, is 48 degrees. Okay, so the angle on this side, okay, which is, you could say, I'll call it MOA, the angle MOA. Okay, the angle MOA is going to be 180 minus 48 degrees. Okay, because this is a straight line. So that's going to be 180 minus 48, which is going to be 100, and um, that's going to be 42, uh, 32, sorry, 132, not 42. 132. 132 plus 48 gives us 180, yeah, that's right. So this is 132 degrees. Now one of the things that's really important for you when you're dealing, dealing with circles and angles, okay, is for you to recognize certain things like, for example, OA and OM and OC are all the radius. So OA is the same length as OM. Let me just get rid of some of these markings so you can see. See, this side and this side are the same. OM and OA are the same. This is an isosceles triangle. So our angle that we're trying to find here is the same as this angle over here. They're the same angle. Okay, and I can find these angles because I know the angle on this side is 132. So the angle we need, let's call it X. There's two of them that are the same length here, same size here. So we can say 2X plus 132 gives us 180. So x will be 180 minus 132 and then divided by 2. So x is going to be 180 minus 132 is 48. 48 divided by 2 is 24 degrees. So the angle we're looking for is 24 degrees. So this is 24 degrees angle CAM. I've shown, up, shown the working all up there so you can see the diagram as we're working. Now, for the next question it says find angle DCM. DCM, which is the angle on this side here. I'll just put it in a different color. Okay, so the angle on this side over here. This is DCM. That's what we're asked to find. Okay, now to find this angle DCM, what we can do is there's a few ways I can see. First of one of the ways I can see here is the fact that DCM stands on DM. Okay, DCM stands on DM. 
Okay, there's probably lots of ways you can do this. In fact, the easiest way is this. This is 90 degrees, and this is 24 degrees. Okay, now I know that this angle here is also 90, the whole thing, because it's standing on the diameter. Okay, C, M, A, A, C is the diameter. So we know that this part of the angle is 24. Let me just get rid of the, so it's clear to you. This whole angle here is 90 degrees, standing on the diameter. This part of it is 24, because it's the same as this angle here. That part is 24. So this part here must be 90 minus 24. Okay, 90 minus 24 is going to give you 68. 66, sorry. 66. Okay, 90 minus 24 is going to give you 66. So this angle here is 66 degrees. Okay, this angle, this part of it here. Okay, so this is 66 degrees. And the angle we need is going to be 90 minus 66, isn't it? Because we got, this was what we call P. So we got this triangle MPC. The angle we need is 90 minus 66. 90, take away 66. That's one way of doing it. Well, of course, that gives you 24. So the answer for part B is also 24. Okay? There's lots of ways of finding answers of this question. The other way I was thinking of is the fact that um, DCM, which we're trying to find, stands on the same arc as DAM, which is this angle here. Okay? And we can find this angle here because I know that this is 90 degrees. I know this is 24. And I can find this angle because this is a right angle. Okay, if this is, uh, the, basically this is, this is a parallel line, so you can say this is 42. So you have 42 plus 24, which is 66, and we know this is 19, 90 minus 66 is 24, so this is 24. And as it stands on the same arc as DCM, it must also be 24. So there's lots of ways of getting to answers. It just depends on how, you know, your eyes see the question, okay? So you can find it in multiple ways sometimes with angles in circles. So both answers are 24, and I hope that was clear. Okay, thank you for watching.